Hi there. This is a long and complicated trap with many tangents and variations. It's the anti-Siberian trap in the Moa Gambit. E4 and C5, the Sicilian, the Moa Gambit with D4. Takes on D4, C3, D takes on C3 and Knight takes on C3. Black's going to try and play the famous Siberian trap with Knight C6. So after Knight F3, E6. Bishop c4 and queen c7. White might be inclined to play castles because after knight f6 and queen e2, a standard maneuver in the Moa, queen e2, preparing d1 for the rook. Black can try knight g4 immediately, trying to tempt this blunder h3, since after h3. Black doesn't move the knight on g4, rather knight d4 hits the queen and the knight. Black's threatening knight takes f3 with queen h2 mate. Because if knight takes on d4, queen h2 is mate on the move. That's the famous Siberian trap. Instead of castles though, straight away, let's take a look at queen e2. So the anti-Siberian where black plays knight f6, white pushes on with e5, hitting the knight and knight g4. The pawn now is being hit three times, the pawn on e5 by the two knights and the queen on c7. Bishop f4 defends it, and black can try this very testing move f6, trying to prize open the diagonal so that queen takes f4 will be on the cards for black. However, White can really muddy the waters with this extremely complicated move here. Knight to d5, giving up the knight. We've seen this in many other traps. It's a common theme in the Sicilian. White's giving up the knight here on d5. Let's have a look at some of the variations. Well, let's try a queen a5 check first. If the check is thrown in, then rather than go back with the bishop, more interesting is king to f1. And now e takes on d5 can be met by e takes on f6 by white. That's check. And few variations here. Well, first, if king d8, then knight g5 can be played, allowing d takes on c4. That's a mistake here by black because knight to f7 is mate. Better for black would have been d6 in this particular variation with equality. Going back a little bit here, instead of king to d8, how about king to f7? Well, that will allow knight g5, and if king takes on f6, then queen takes on g4. d6 releases the bishop on c8, hitting the queen. But knight takes on h7 is a great try by white, because after rook takes on h7, bishop g5 check, sends the king back to f7 and queen f3, king e8 and rook e1 is winning for white. Best black can do is bishop e7, but after bishop takes on d5, white fully in control. So, going back now, we were looking at this queen a5 line. Let's go back again. After knight d5, we've just explored queen to a5. Let's have a look now at e takes on d5, accepting that gambited piece. e takes f6 is discovered check again by, uh, by white, the queen being released from e2. Knight g e5 uh, blocks the check. And the best line here for white is in fact not knight takes which is the seems to be the main line here but uh, seemingly better is bishop takes on e5 since after knight takes on e5 knight takes on e5 uh, with a deadly discovered coming now the king can't move to d8 because of knight f7 which is going to be mate and if the bishop is snapped up with d takes on c4, white can simply just castle, maintaining that pressure, and white will certainly be winning here. So, going back here, in this position, 
I'm not going to even go through the lines here with knight takes on e5. Extremely complicated, long-winded. Better is bishop takes on e5, winning pretty much immediately. So that will save time on this trap. And let's go back to knight d5 again. So we've looked at two lines now, queen to a5 and e takes on d5. How about bishop to b4 check? Well, on bishop b4 check, the king can slide over to f1. And now if the knight is snapped up with e takes on d5, e takes f6 is discovered check again. And if the knight withdraws back to e5, knight g e5, then knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5, White can now snap up the pawn on g7, hitting the rook, rook g8, and white's going to win after bishop takes on d5, which is hitting the rook. And if rook takes on g7, now bishop takes on e5, hitting the queen as well as the rook with a one game for white. So this has been the anti-Siberian trap in the Moa Gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.